Uh, we, uh, we want to look at the themes uh, from chapter one. The first theme is the theme of tradition that is on page eight. Uh, we are basically looking at the, the, way, the, the way they used to marry and Mama Milanoi saw it as, a, as an opportunity that the daughters would be married in Nasila other than being married in, in town. Then we have the theme of love. This is basically seen on page nine. Whereby the, uh, Ole Kailo remembers the time that uh, he fell in love with Mama Milanoi and he even went ahead and married her. Then we have a theme of change that is basically on page three, whereby we are told about the relocation that is basically the time that they moved from Nakuru to Nasila and the way of life. They were used to the, they, they were used to Nakuru, but now they had to move to, to Nasila. That is basically theme of change. And the same, another theme of change again, we, we'll be looking at page 14. This is the difference between the life in, of Nakuru and the life of Nasila. The girls were used to be woken up by rowdy, uh, rowdy matatus and the noise from the town. But at this time, when they are in Nasila now, the, 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 the atmosphere is very serene and they are woken up by the clutter and chatter of, of birds. Uh, this is a clear indication of the contrast between Nakuru town and Nasila. Uh, then we have dialogue, this is basically between Tayo and Rezian on page 2 to 3. The, the, the way they were conversing of how life would be in, uh, in Nasila as compared to the way they were used to their lives in, in Nakuru. Then we also have marriage, theme of marriage. This is basically seen uh, on page 10, that is between Ole Kaelo and Mama Milanoi. Then we have the styles and language use. The first one is the use of rhetorical question. Rhetorical question is seen on page five, whereby uh, somebody was asking, are we ever going to live? You know, when you're looking at rhetorical questions, these are questions that don't necessarily need what? An answer. You can ask yourself, but you don't, you know that the, the answer is obvious, so you don't really need an answer that is seen on page five. On page five, that is a style. Then we have irony. Irony is basically opposite of the expected. When you're looking at irony, it's seen on page ten. This is because Ole Kaelo really detested Rezian since the time that she was born. As we all know, as parents, people expect that when a child is born, the parent will really maybe love her. But at this point. Uh, uh, Ole Kaelo detests Rezian because he had expectation that the time that Mamilano was pregnant, she was going to give birth to a, a boy or a son. But in a real sense, the child who was born was a girl. This made him to become angry and also to really detest and never liked Rezian at all as compared to the way he really loved who? Tayo. Then we have flashback on page five. This is the time that Rezian, uh, sorry, not Rezian, this is the time that Tayo remembers, the time that they had a battle with the father, uh, when, she, when he had denied her a chance to go to the music extravaganza in, in Mombasa. Then we have a description whereby the time that Ole Kailo remembers how he had courted Mama Milanoi up to the time that they get married, it's being described. Then we have the use of local dialect. When you're looking at local dialect, it's basically the use of another language apart from the, from the language which has been used in that, set, in that set text. For instance, on Blossoms of the Savannah, the, the main language which has been used here is what? Is English. But now, there are other languages, there are other parts whereby they use the Maasai language as, as, to, as part of the local, that is now the local dialect. This is to make the story more interesting and also uh, to cut on boredom. So it's basically on page 11, a word like papai. That is basically what? Local, local dialect. Then uh, we look at uh, character and characterization. Character and characterization. When we're looking at character and characterizations, we're basically looking at the characters in this chapter 
and the roles they play uh, on the same. So, like for instance, the first character is Olekailo. And under his character traits, we see that Olekailo is, we can say, irritable or short tempered. This is clearly seen the, uh, the time, uh, at the time when he, he really he speaks violently to the loaders who are loading the, uh, the items uh, in the trucks. So we can say he is irritable or short tempered. That is on page 4 and page 10. You can get that on page 4 and page 10. Then we also have another character trait. I think that is basically the, 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 the outstanding character trait of John Olekaelo on chapter 1. Then we have another character that is Mama Milanoi, Mama Milanoi or Jen Milanoi. Mama Milanoi. The first character trait which is very evident is uh, she is hardworking. That is clearly seen on page 5. She is really hardworking. Evident on page 5 that she really works hard the time that she was packing the below the items so that they can move from Na Nakuru to Nasila. Another character trait is she is a traditionalist. She is a traditionalist. This is clearly seen on page 8. When she is talking about the women who will come to her home and uh, she, uh, they will start asking about the girls, the Itoi and Mengalana because they are not circumcised. We also see that she is prayerful. That is seen on page 6. Yes, on page 6. That Mama Milano is also prayerful because the time that they were almost departing, she she says a prayer before they they go to the to to the minibus and they they, they she prays for Johnny Masi so that they go safely to to Nasila. Another character we we are looking at is Rezian. That is the third character we have Rezian. The the one of the. One of the of the main character traits that he's seen uh, when it comes to Rezia is that she is ambitious, or you can say she is determined. Rezia is really ambitious or determined because, despite the fact that she they are going back to Nasila, she tells the sister that. You can talk to Papa so that we come back to Nakuru and we are able to enroll to the Igaton University and we, are, uh, and we pursue our dreams. Like for instance, in her own case, she wanted to become a veterinary officer. This is clearly seen on page 4. Uh, I'll stop there for today. But basically, there are those things you have to always remember as a student that you have to, when you're looking at character, for instance, character and characterization, styles and language use and also the thematic concepts that you have to identify and also illustrate. Thank you.